Salawam. Call hello, you help by Shemel Shai, by Shemel Karkwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all our fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, it be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the aquath that are listening and learning to you. I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. From the branch of the great millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth and it's hard for me not to look at now I'm looking through the camera lens that that goofy across the street that's a Iskarite's house with that uh with that Virgin Mary in front of his uh his picture window in the front there I told that man he and his wife the truth talked to them for a couple of hours you know that's been some years ago and uh about a year or so after they heard the truth, all of a sudden that Mary appeared on his front lawn. All right? And uh, that dude's going to die, man. And that's dude, that dude is going to die. And he won't get, get to keep or have the wife that he has either. I promise you that. Because um, that was his decision. She was against that. But, you know, that's her, that's her husband. That's a man. So, but... Uh, she was all for the truth. He she accepted it more than he he just sat there and listened, but but I guess that was his reply. But <clears throat> you know, that's just um only because I looked up and saw it. I thought about it. But you people who who trust in, in Egypt and trust in, in the these Edomite lies, well, destruction is coming for you. And that's why I'm gonna play a bit of this uh this quick video that I was listening to from the Silver Report Uncut. And it's sad because well actually it's beautiful. That the whole system is failing. And, uh, but this guy is disappointed that it's failing. Why? Because he believed in a lie which was America. America is and has been nothing but a lie. The American dream is turning into or has turned into the American nightmare. All right, so without any further ado, we're going to play uh, uh, this video. This is from the Silver Report Uncut. And it's called uh, spread spread out. We need to decentralize everything. Leave the cities. Pre uh, pre search the library uh, telegram. So these people keep saying leave the cities. Most people can't leave the cities. Ain't where are they gonna go to? These people sitting up waiting on stimulus checks that they're gonna have to pay back on the on the, on, the, on the other end with uh, hyperinflation. You have no idea. Where, where, you know, where this is headed, but nevertheless. That's none of our business. We are not going to interfere in the communications of our customers. And I like that answer. And I am a Christian person. I'm not ashamed. So, I don't believe in lying. And obviously, it doesn't matter what's right or wrong anymore. Because the people deciding what is good are really bad people. They got no idea what good is. I have to not... I have to agree with him on that. This is uh and he's talking about the people in charge. The people who decide uh what medicines to shoot into your veins and what's good for your children, you know. Uh people who 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 uh, allow uh satanic uh, uh, things to be put into cartoons, into movies, even into tennis shoes, into music videos, to uh, you know warp, warp the mind of the people. All right, but this is uh, Job thirteen and four, and it reads, "But ye are forgers of lies; ye are all physicians of no value. They are complete and total physicians of no value, man." Because the things that they want to use to treat people are actually harming people. Why? Because depopulation is 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 what really is wanted here in Babylon. All right. And how are they going to use it use it to do it? They're going to fool you with science and tell you what is good is bad and what is bad is good. You know, point blank. Period. Um, check another. No, that's not a good one. But, uh, yeah, let's continue. And the water for your prayers, you know, I am feeling a lot better. 
what I really needed was sleep. You're healing your sleep, and I hadn't been getting really good sleep. But uh, I prayed for good sleep, and I got it. I slept almost 10 hours, and I never sleep that long. That was beautiful. I feel so much better. Damn it. There we go. Not one good bone in their body. If they read about good in a book, they would probably read the wrong books because they want nothing to do with good. And so, we got to ask, who are they really against? Because we know what they say in their articles, but guess what? They own all of those news programs. The people that are fighting us, they own the news. So they create our reality. Not only the, the news, but the books that are used to educate and teach are all full of lies. Everything about this place, the history, you know, it, everything is fat is a fabrication. You don't learn the truth here in Babylon. All you do is learn a bunch of lies. I mean, these people can't even admit that they're the Edomites, the people that are controlling the thing. They're they're running around posing to be the Anglo Saxons, you know, the 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 Jews. They're, they're posing to be everything except what they really are. Right? Why? Because then they're, they're liars. This is uh, Nahum 3 and 1, and it reads, Woe to the bloody city! It is all full of lies and robbery, and the prey departeth not. So how can you be the, the, the villain and the victim? Alright? that's They claim, they're, they're both. They claim to be, they're the villains, but yet they're claiming to be the victims, because they're the ones that have robbed the people. Alright? They're the ones that rob the people, and all the policy that they push forth, it, it, it can keeps you in perpetual uh, 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 debt to them. That's the way the system is, is set up. Reality, if we believe it and take it as news, but that's not what it is. It's just they need to have a voice in the world, right? Because they're rich, and so they just end up buying all of these platforms and. It doesn't matter. I mean, the stuff I've been seeing recently is ridiculously fake. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to me that there are people in this country that are being becoming victims to these people because they've painted this whole false reality about what's happening in our country. And they're painting the people as the enemy, just like I said. So we have to spread out. We have to move with our dollars. We have to use different places. Because we are the power. We are the power. We're the people. We are who uses all of their programs. I don't know. Just make sure to come over and subscribe to us. On See, he still thinks that, that his actions are going to change uh, what's already been written, what's already prophesied. You know? You can't change prophecy. Everything's got to play out the way that it's play out, the way that the Lord wants it to play out. Whether you're, you're, uh, if you are of the elect, and you are meant to to be martyred and then raised up later, or whether you are of the elect and you will never see or taste death, or if you're the two thirds, you don't get to be, you don't you don't get to be a, a two third, and then there's a chance that you might not be. No. You know, the the if you if you like all those people, for example, you've had hundreds of thousands of people that came from uh, from South and Central America, Jakes, to Northern America, can come full full blown into Babylon in the last days, within the last hour. Why do you think they're here? We're not even. I can't even say we're in the last hour anymore. We're in the last minutes, man. These are the last moments of Babylon. And those people that came here, all right, they came here to be judged. And so lucky if I'm all over the place, you know, but it's still toward one goal. You know, the, the, these people came here to be judged, trusting in this place and coming here. It wasn't of their own free will that they came here. The Lord sealed their minds and, and made them decide to make the trip and the journey to come here, whether old or young. And they came here for judgment. All right, completely and totally. Let me play a little bit more of this, and I'm gonna grab one last scripture about judgment that's gonna fall on this great city, this gigantic city, which is Babylon. On LBRY, while you still have the chance, 
And um, I think it's a great alternative. It's a real viable one. And I'll leave a link in the description about that. Because that's what you have to do. We see whenever power gets really isolated into the hands of a few people, if we simply sit back and just continue using these programs after there's so many people who are disgusted with what they've been doing recently, there's no way that I could ever go back <laughs> to even, you know, Fox. There's no way. Not after this. Not after this. These people are liars. They're liars. It's disgusting. They have no shame. They are ruining a whole generation of children, of young people who believe them because everything they say is lies. All of their news is lies. And they're the ones who are the authoritative sources and it's just doing tremendous damage and they're erasing everything that is useful. Like when you try to look up videos of real things that people say, if it's people that are connected to them, you can't find the videos anymore. All you find see, see that's right. So he's basically signing and crying, the same thing that we do. Except he's not dependent. He's saying he's a Christian, but what we already told you, what Christians do, they follow Christianism. That's why they're lost and don't know what's going on. All right? Christianism is, is just a, a, a bunch of beliefs and lies that are put together by Edomites and the rest of the people that follow it. Point blank, period. That's what it is, man. And he's saying how they hide information and they lie about information. That's what they do. And then any information that comes out that exposes the lies gets labeled as, uh, 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 as, 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 as false or, or um, medical disinformation or whatever. You know, and then the videos that reveal the truth, they, they erase, delete or shadow ban them to where you just can't find them. OK. But uh, this is Jeremiah. Um, Thirty nine. In verse 16, and it reads, Go speak to Abedme, Abedmelech, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, The power of Israel, behold, I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in the day before thee. But I will deliver thee in, the, in, in that day, saith Yahweh, and thou shalt be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. So many of you are going to be delivered into the to the hands of your enemies. Point blank period. And 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 the Lord is going is, has spoken in evil. He had spoken judgment against uh Babylon, against Mount Seir. Alright, because Mount Seir ruleth in Babylon, in this new Babylon, this current modern day Babylon, which is Babylon the Great. Mount Seir is the rulership here. Verse 18, for I will surely deliver thee and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee because thou hast, hast put thy trust in me, saith Yahweh. So it, just like the scripture say, even the very elect shall scarcely be saved. All right, we're going to barely make it up out of here. We're going to get pushed to the break. You don't get to have everything that we're going to have. All right. Without being uh, tried and tested first. You, you've seen how difficult it is to become a, a, a part of fraternity. To become a Marine. To become an Omega Sci-Fi. To become a, a Kappa or an Alpha. You know, they, they, they have very strenuous. Uh, uh, and, very, very, and, and they play a lot of mind games with you as well. Alright. To become a, a, a Navy SEAL or a Marine. Everybody wants to be a part of this society. Well, the only thing you should be wanting to be a part of is the elect. All right? Nothing else. Nothing else matters. You know? It really doesn't. Nothing else matters. So with that, I'm going to give pray all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekarkwadash, Wa'abababal, Kwam Yasharala.